the general overseer of Calvary Center, Bishop David Karukingari, is accusing a section of elected leaders from Mount Kenya region of betraying their party leader. Bishop Ngari says the governors and MPs who were elected on a Jubilee party ticket should shun 2022 politics and support President Uhuru Kenyatta achieve his legacy. To develop a culture of Kenya's people. Amen. Kenya's people. And I will request the government and the president Amen. to take this so that we don't breach the culture of tribalism, we have to kill it. The way he is killing corruption, he should kill even tribalism. Meanwhile, a section of leaders from Ukambani region maintain that Waipa leader Kalonzo Musioka is the region's kingpin. The leaders who spoke during a Thanksgiving ceremony in Kathiani constituency, Machakos County, hosted by area MP Robert Mbui, told of the former vice president's critics who claim he had lost political clout in the region. Na tuwezi kubali mtu moja ambaye ata haku chaguliwa, alionyeshwa heshima na mweshimiwa Kalonzo Musioka kuwa chama ni wa Waipa. Tumewadia, sisi kotukotiyari, kushikana na vivya mevile vingine, kama chama cha waipa, tuna wakiongozi ambaya na stahili, tuna wakiongozi ambaya na tosha, aje, aje, awe, kama flag bearer, tuchukue ikiti, saa kumi na mbili, bila kupingwa. Na... And like EPA North Member of Parliament Sarah Lekorere wants the Kenya National Union of Teachers to allow women teachers form an affiliate association to champion for their rights. The lady teachers should have their association because there is nothing for them without them. And I believe it is a high time the women of this country speak to those little things like having breastfeeding centers in every public institution. Speaking at Uaso Neuro Primary School in her constituency, where she opened three classrooms, Lekorere noted that female teachers were facing a number of issues which needed to be resolved. Purity Museo, Channel 1 News.